What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm gonna try and figure out how many times we've caught Lois cheating on Peter and Family Guy. So yeah obviously these are just the ones that I could find. If you guys know of any more please let me know and I will try and include those in a later video. But for now how I broke this down was basically I've just got some categories here. I've got definitively cheated and that's where we know for sure she actually cheated on Peter. I've got almost cheated and that's basically where like she would have went all the way but something stopped her but she definitely like had the intentions of or was about to cheat on him and then obviously finally we've got a uh, kind of a gray area and that's basically things she did that are just shy of actually acting on the impulses so yeah without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first category of where she definitely cheated on Peter. So I actually only found two instances of Lois 100% cheating on Peter. The first instance is where Lois outright sleeps with Bill Clinton uh, in the episode Bill and Peter's Bogus Journey. Though in the end, Peter also sleeps with Bill Clinton. So, I mean, take that for what you will. I think they have a lot to work out personally. And the second time is in the episode Screwed the Pooch where Peter brings up things that will make Brian look like a good dad. Even though uh, we find out later on, Brian is not a very good dad and is actually a very neglectful father. Um, that being said, Brian says that Meg's real fa sorry, Brian in this episode says that Meg's real father's name is Stan Thompson. Meg is 17 years old and Peter and Lois have been married for at least 20 years, meaning she had to cheat on him for Meg to be born. What really sucks is that Meg is the only person in the family who actually does not know this, but it also might give us a canonical reason why Peter does not like Meg, because uh, she's basically not his daughter. It's messed up, and it's weird, and he does show that he does care for her in other episodes, so it's kind of, like, convoluted. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we sit. Those are the two actual examples of him cheating. So now we're going to move on to the almost cheated category. And here I actually found five instances of her almost cheating. Uh, the first one is in Lois comes out of her shell. She falls for and tries to sleep with Justin Bieber, whom I believe at this point was very young. So that's actually really creepy. The second time is she makes out with and tries to have sex with Meg's normal boyfriend in Ghost Do We Go. Then Lois is seen walking out of a copy shop with another man in the episode Bry Robot. Uh, we don't know who this guy is, but she is very obviously on a date with him. So they, it's definitely cheat. Some very close to cheating. It's heavily implied that she did. And then in Into Harmony's Way, a guy named Larry has been living with the family for two months while Peter and Quagmire are doing their world tour with their music. And it is probably Lois moving on from Peter and he actually jumps out of the window and says Meg keep painting kind of a odd thing so he's been living as the man of the house for two months at a minimum so um this is probably Lois's attempt to move on from Peter but it is technically almost cheating or possibly cheating we just don't know if they actually did the full thing and then finally Lois kisses and has actual feelings for Peter's son in a house full of Peters. Now this is not Lois's son this is Peter's son from when he donated sperm to a sperm bank and then all of his kids actually come. So we actually eventually might do a video on just how many kids Peter Griffin has. Uh, but that's for future videos. But in this one, she actually falls for him. And he's weird because he's kind of basically just Peter Jr., like Peter Light, literally. He reminds her of Peter when he was still young and affectionate. And yeah, they do kind of fall for one another. So it is what it is. But she did have feelings for her and did make out with Peter's son. Now, as far as the gray areas... Um, I basically found a few instances here. Uh, the first one is Gene Simmons goes down on Lois in Don't Make Over. She basically flaunts herself for Joe, enjoying the attention and helping him and Bonnie actually have sex. So that, I don't know, it's a weird gray area for me. She obviously enjoyed it, but she wasn't really cheating. So I don't know, I just thought I would throw this in here. But then finally, uh, P Stewie actually tells Peter that she has two phones now and has emotionally let go of Peter and he might want to watch out for that. So she, that is an instance of her, you know, having the ability to cheat on Peter. But like I said, we're gray area, two phones and emotionally let go. It doesn't equate to cheating, but it could. Now, this is actually the last thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, this is technically not Lois cheating on Peter. This is Lois cheating on Brian with Peter. Basically what happens here is, is Peter gets stuck on an island and while he's gone, Lois and Brian actually get married. Now through the course of the episode, 
Lois and Peter basically get back together. She kind of fights it for a little bit and then she just gives in completely. Now, this is not an example of her cheating on Peter per se. It is definitely her cheating on Brian and this is 100% cheating. They were married and she's sleeping with another man. So that is an example of Lois cheating. Just not Lois cheating on Peter. So I just thought I'd throw this in here at the end just so all my bases are covered. But that's pretty much it, guys. That is every instance of Lois cheating on Peter. Are there any that I missed that you guys know about? And did you actually know about all of these? If you did, please let me know in the comments below. And if I missed any, let me know in the comments below as well. And while you're down there, guys, please remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.